Hey YouTube! I am here with an update for you. An update on my last video about dating after a breakup. Yes, it's been years since I've been broken up, but I just recently went on a date. A real date, you know, taking you out to the movies, dinner, whatever, talking, just cooling. But before I get into that, I just wanted to talk about a song that has been playing on the radio nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. It's kind of annoying. So I kind of did my own version, which is the Creole version, my native language. If you don't know what Creole is, it is the Haitian language. Slang of French, whatever. Here's a song. Let's see if you guys recognize it. When you said it was over, you shot right through my heart. Why you let these hoes tear what we had right apart? Oh, I'm so mad. I swear this scene is coming right from the start. You should be where, be where, be where. Yeah, a woman with a broken heart. Yeah, so this is my version. Le outi nous t'es fini. <laughs> okay guys, so that is the Creole version. If I'm wrong with the words that I use, y'all let me know for my Haitian masses. But anyways, let's get into the story. And as we get into the story, let me play some nice romantic tunes. Sorry, I really like the song. I had to have this playing in the background. Okay. So, how the date went, it was cool, we went out to the movies and I explained that to you guys, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings, had a few drinks, he wasn't hungry, I got fried, conversation, cool, he spoke about himself more than anything, but I was alright with it, took me home, great, but guess what? Guess what? Day one, day two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't hear from him, right? No text to say I had a good time. You're awesome. Nothing. I didn't get none of that. None of that. So I'm like, all right, maybe he's not feeling me. I'm probably a little bit too much for him. I was accepting because not a lot of people can handle me, really. So, I got over it because I get over things so quick, it's not even funny. Like, if a guy's not feeling me, I get the vibe, I'm gone. <laughs> I done moved on already, even though I really literally didn't move on. You're just out of my brain. Who's texting me? That nigga's texting me. Let's just get into this before I finish and probably read this text to you guys. Anyway, so I didn't hear from him. I said seven days. It wasn't seven days. It was four days. But still, after a date, aren't you, like, supposed to text a person and say I had a good time? Hopefully we do this again. I didn't get that. So I was like, all right, whatever. He doesn't like me. Turns out, after the fourth day, he wanted to hang out again. And we made plans. And we met up again. We went to, you know, not a classy restaurant or anything, but we went to a restaurant. It was cool. A sports bar, basically. And he told me to meet him at 7.30. So I'm trying to be punctual, because I'm never punctual. I decide to go on time, I'm looking for parking, and I realize, okay, it's 7.30. Let me text him and say, I'm just looking for parking. I'm here. 
I didn't get no response. He didn't say okay. He didn't say nothing. So I'm thinking he's already in the restaurant. Get in the restaurant. He's not there. You would think that he would give me a courtesy call or a courtesy text saying he's late, but I'm the one who's texting him. No response. All right. Sorry I'm speaking with my neck. I get like that because I'm a little animated. And when I have an attitude, the neck just, you know, just, I'm playing this song again because it is just that sexy. The song is just fucking sexy. All right. Sorry if you guys don't like it, but I do. All right, so I decide to go to the bathroom, and when I come out, he's calling my phone. I'm like, hey, I'm here. So we hug, we sit down, we're talking. Cool. I didn't want to meet up with him again because I'm kind of weird where if I get used to you and you're gone from me for like more than a week and I don't talk to you, no communication, no texting, I feel funny getting back into what it was like I, it was hard enough for me to go on a date after all these years and giving somebody a shot and when I opened up and I was like oh this is okay this person is cool and then I don't hear from you all of a sudden you will have to start from square one and that's just it with me so yeah we started back from square one it was cool. It was better than the last time. And, you know, I noticed that he didn't really ask me about myself, what I like, but I'm asking him, but he doesn't ask me. And I don't like that. So I decided to tell him what I like. And he didn't ask any questions in reference to anything. Oh, I like to paint or I like to do this and he didn't say anything it was just like oh really nothing he went to school for the same thing that I went to school with tried to start a conversation about that he didn't ask any questions he I told him about me loving to make videos he didn't ask anything about that and I said you know what that's a turn off because if a guy wants to get to know me he needs to get to know me if you know what I mean so if I'm opening up to you and you're not receptive to that I don't know what to say like I don't want to waste my time I'm too old to be playing stupid ass little kid games like let's play chess if you want to play games let's play chess I don't know how to play that but that's a mature game but we're not playing tag baby I just don't do that so this game of tag he's talking I'm talking I'm like damn I like him he's cool but he's not really concerned about me or what I like but I'm sitting there asking him about himself and it's like shit come on nigga give me some attention I'm a girl so anyway he kind of like said something that was kind of cute he was like I was like damn so you gotta go to work and um, he's like, yeah, you going to miss me? I was like, a little bit. He's like, I think you're going to miss me more than a little bit. So I'm thinking, okay, that's kind of cute. He's flirting with me. He walks me back to the car. And, you know, he gave me a hug. We're talking. Then he gives me another hug, and I'm out. So being that he was going to work like madly, I decided to, you know, text him to make sure he got to work okay, because it was kind of far. And I text, and he does not respond. He doesn't say anything until the next day in the afternoon. So I'm like, all right. But his excuse, it was okay. His excuse was that he had left his phone in the car. That's okay. That's fine. Okay. After that, we don't speak. It's nothing. We don't. We have never spoken on the phone other than him telling me he was outside to pick me up. So, um, finally, what happens is we don't talk for another close to a week, and he texts me 
really late and he's like because he knows I stay up late he goes um I guess asking me what I'm doing or how you doing da 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 I'm like yeah I'm just hungry and he's like oh really you're hungry do you want to go get something and I kind of ignored it because it was like midnight so I was like no I'm gonna find something to eat um downstairs or something he's like no if you're hungry let me feed you and I was like, shit, I like that. I like when a guy kind of, like, takes initiative and talks like that to me. You want to feed me? Okay. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's how I felt, right? So, I don't know if he got the hint that I really didn't want to go out. So, he's like, maybe we can do something tomorrow. The next day came. I didn't hear from him. So, I was like, okay, whatever. After that, he asked to take me out to another place where his friend was having a birthday dinner and he's like you want to come with me blah blah but I couldn't because I was in New York and by the time I got back I just would have made him late so I was like nah we good we good he said maybe we can link up tomorrow which was the next day Sunday so Sunday he sends me a text like madly he doesn't text me until like when I say madly probably like nine and he's supposed to be at work. I think he goes to work at, uh, like 11. So I'm like, I guess he didn't really want to hang out with me. Fine. Anywho, I text him back because I had fell asleep. I text him back probably two hours later. And never did he respond to me until almost seven days later. So, ah. <sighs> I think this is a wrap. I can't do the back and forth playing tag. I did that back in middle school. I used to have fun playing tag, but that shit had me out of breath right now. In the, I don't even talk about my age. For you guys who know me and my age, you know how old I am. I don't have time to be fucking chasing no man. I don't care. I gave you the benefit of the doubt, and I say, you know what, let me just... You're not my type, but I, I, I'll give you a shot. I know I'm not your type. At least I don't think I am. I'm thinking maybe you trying to give me a shot, but it's just not, we're not, we're not meshing well. It's not working out, so I'm just going to let it slide and wait for the right person to come my way. If you come my way, shit, I don't know. I know, like, first Oh my gosh, when I tell you, sometimes you could just tell when you first look at somebody, if they're like, for real, for real, right for you. Mm -mm. Guys, girls, when it comes to dating after a breakup, don't just assume that the next person is going to be the one. No, because that's what I was doing. Sometimes it's just to prepare you for the right one. Um, I know what I don't want after going out with this guy a few times. I want somebody that's going to take me out somewhere special, not just to like a restaurant where you wear jeans and sneakers and people are drinking beer. I want to be taken out to a nice restaurant where we sit down and we could eat with forks and knives. I want that. I, that's my age. I want to dress up and go out. Yeah, we can go to a movie, dinner or movie, but come on, take me somewhere cute. We can go to like a Spanish restaurant or something like that. I like my arroz con pollo and my platanos, totones. I like all that shit. Let's go somewhere like that. Why we got to just be eating chicken wings and stuff like twice? Come on. I'm okay with it because I like to eat. <laughs> I love chicken, but... You trying to impress me? Take me somewhere where we gonna have to be carving shit. Sipping wine. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, so, the point of me getting into this is basically to let you fellas and ladies know that you don't have to settle just because you want to move on from the last relationship. You don't have to settle. If you know you want somebody that's going to wine and dine you, make you feel special, give you attention, call you on a regular basis, text you to see how you're doing, respond back to you at a timely manner and not days later, then that's what you should get. But 
if you're settling, you will accept the shit that I'm going through. Being taken out to, like, freaking french fry and burger dates and, you know, never speaking on the phone, not getting text messages often, not being responded to within the hour of you sending a text. It's like, come on, dude, are, are you playing a game? Are you receiving my clips? Because he could text me, like, right now. And I text him back, he will not respond back to me maybe 30 to 30 minutes to an hour later. Like, are you sitting looking at it? Like, I shouldn't text her back because she's going to think that I like her. If that's what the fuck it is, <laughs> I'm good. I don't care if you like me. I really don't. But... <laughs> Clearly, I'm never going to tell him what my YouTube is because I don't want him to see this video. Uh, anyway, the last text that I sent him, he never responded until today and he didn't even answer what I had said. So I'm kind of like, ugh. I wasn't going to respond back. And that's the advice that I would have told you guys. Just ignore the person, but... I have a relationship expert, dating expert that told me, my homegirl who told me, don't be bitter, just respond back, just be cool, calm, collective, and short with the text. I was just like, I'm good. You? Question mark. So yeah, I texted him that like two hours ago, and he just recently texted me back as I'm making this video. So that just clearly shows how irre irrelevant I am to him. So. I'm going to tell you what I plan to do. If he asks me out again on another date, I'm just going to decline. Let me know if you guys think that I should give it another shot. He's cool. He's nice. He seems like somebody I can trust. I don't know if it's because he hasn't been in a relationship for some time. He's he's actually hasn't been in a relationship longer than me. So he must be going through like the same shit that I am where he you kind of don't know what to do. I don't know. But I don't want to have to baby anybody. I want a fucking man. Somebody that just knows how to treat a woman. Oh, gosh. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway. If you guys have any dating stories that you want to let me know, come on, inbox me. Write me in my, in, um, my, my little comment box on the bottom. <sighs> Let me know what I should do. I know I should be telling y'all what I'm going to do, but I don't know. Third time could be the charm. <laughs> it's only been two days, so maybe the third time is a charm. And we have to be going out somewhere where I have to dress up if that's what it is. Like, you want to take me out, we're going to, like, La Bachata or... La Esperanza's or Ve Michela. Something like that. Let's go somewhere like that. Why do we have to go to like Wings and Things? Not that we went to Wings and Things, but shit. Enough of this fucking sorry, yeah. I had to just let it out. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this update, although it's four days early. I said I was going to do it after, like, 30 days, but mm, I don't think that we're going to go on another date, so it just defeats the purpose of me waiting, so. Yeah, guys, another one bites the dust. I'll be waiting for my Prince Charming, my king. I can't wait till I get him. I know he's going to be... It's perfect to me. Like, he's going to give me attention. Oh, before I go, let me let you know that what I want. Very simple. I want someone that I can trust. Obviously, he will be honest. I want someone who is... Mm, I don't know. Giving. <laughs> someone to spoil me because I spoil my nigga back. Whoever I'm with, I spoil. So, you need to be spoiling me too. And that does not mean you need to be spending tons of money. But spoil me. Take me out to eat. Let's go to the movies. 
stuff like that. Let's go play games or something. Spoil me. Buy me a few DVDs and we can make a movie night at home. If you know what I mean. Um, third, I want somebody that's respectful. Fourth, someone that has style. Like, yeah, you could rock jeans and a shirt. But sometimes I want you to dress up and look cute. We have to look cute together. Um, I want someone who's funny. I want someone who respects their mother. Because if you respect your mother, that means you will probably respect me. Um, I don't want anybody who beat bitches ass. Because apparently I attract a lot of those. I just want a normal person to give me attention, love, affection. Oh, yes. A girl like me needs affection. I love that. Let's just stop here because I'm thinking about my dream man and I'm about to go to bed. I don't need to be dreaming about no shit. I have a lot of work to do, you guys, if you only knew. I have a few, um glasses to paint and i'm so excited because i'm about to make that moolah you guys thank you so much for sitting here and watching this 21 22 minute video me ranting my update and complaining all that bullshit i'm about to go downstairs and eat some freaking fries i had in the freaking toaster oven for over 30 minutes they're probably so scrumptious scrumptious and uh for the girls that are probably wondering what is on my lips this is mac ruby will i finally got it yeah I'm, i was sick and tired of the dollar red lipstick so i wanted to have a mac matte ruby woo sexy red lip so, I'll see you guys next video. I have so many vlogs that you guys are probably like, bitch, why did you not post them yet? I have about six of them. Six vlogs. So, yeah, get ready. I can't wait to edit. And I'll see you guys on the next. Peace.